Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to Huddersfield. We're back on Train Sim Classic today in this 150 stroke 2 and we're going to be driving it from Huddersfield through to Leeds. The year is 2005, Arriva have got the franchise for Arriva Trains Northern and uh, I think this one is just clinging onto its regional railways livery here. This is a scenario by Adam Haig, it's available from the Alan Thompson Sim uh, Website. I was going to say store, but it's not a purchase one. It's a free one. And uh, as you can see, it's it's the era where there's lots of different coloured liveries. You've got Northern Spirit on the 156. You've got the Metro train. It was such a bright, vibrant uh, time on the railways. I know that a lot of today's liveries just aren't quite as uh, as completely beautiful. Uh, there was a completely beautiful. That's uh, yeah. There were a lot of uh, really really bright liveries, wasn't there? Colourful. The the railway was awash with colour. Uh, I think we've got Leeds on the destination, so we'll just flick through here. Uh, on the 150 stroke 2, of course, they're not in alphabetical order, so you're never quite sure. Uh, we'll have to put something like special train on if we don't have Leeds. Hereford, Birmingham, Penzance, Newquay, Parr, Plymouth, Paynton, Newton Abbott, Exeter, Exmouth, Taunton, Bristol. Leeds, there we go. Right down there by Bristol. Sensible, sensible. Right, okie dokie, let's... Uh, Let's get the wheels in motion. We're practically there, aren't we? We're going to be running an all-stop service today. Uh, there you go. Still clinging onto its regional railways livery. Take this Northern Rail. Ah, yeah, it's 2005, isn't it? So it was a Bellio Northern, not a Reaver. Joe, you blithering idiot. Yeah, it's Northern Rail uh, that's running this. I'm in the wrong era, aren't I? Uh, the year is 2005. You'll be calling it Huddersfield, where we are now. Deaton, Murfield, Raven, Sop, Dewsbury, Batley, Morley, Cottonlet, and Leeds. Lovely. It looks fairly cold, but it's really, really warm in this cab. So do you know what? We're going to get that, get those windows down. I thought I'd put my, uh, oh, I didn't put my instrument lights on. I put my destination light on. There we go. Yeah, this route has improved a lot. There's been a couple of updates to this route. There is now a signal box at Batley, which we'd left out before. You'll be able to see that uh, shortly. It's still a very flat route, though. A lot more flat than uh, than it is in real life. Uh, however, do you know what? It's better than no route at all, and I think Dovetail know that, to be honest with you. Right, let's... Uh... And do we have any time constraints? Right, we do at Dewsbury. In at 15.15, out at 15.23. I think we might have something overtaking us at Dewsbury. That's usually the case on the stopper. 15.02 and it's going dark already. Well, I suppose it is winter, isn't it? I'm surprised that when we were here there was no sort of express service that came past us in, uh, in the platform at Huddersfield. I guess we, uh, we, we didn't really have a lot of time, did we, between starting the scenario and departing. What's this coming the other way? Something just pootling around the corner. It's a 142. Oh, hey, do love a 142. Did also get an email off Armstrong Powerhouse uh, that the 142 has been removed from sale. I know, I know. I'll see if I can find the email for you. Uh, see what? Uh, no, it wasn't an email from Armstrong Powerhouse. Oh, you blithering idiot! It was. Uh, it was on the website. It was on Facebook. Uh, hang on, where are we? Armstrong Powerhouse. Yes, the class 142 diesel multiple unit pack withdrawal. It's now been withdrawn from sale. We don't intend our website to be 142 less for long, however. Stay tuned. So that is really, really exciting. A 142 enhancement pack maybe on the horizon. Uh, we don't actually know because they've not announced it, but uh, yeah, stay tuned. So that is really, really exciting. Of course, we've got the 142 from Dovetail anyway, which I would say the quality of the model from them is a lot better than the original Armstrong Powerhouse 142. So uh, yeah, if they've done an enhancement pack to that, That'll be absolutely brilliant. Uh, of course, I don't know, maybe they'll do a Phase 1 and a Phase 2 like they did with the 319. Because, of course, don't forget, the 142 you get from Dovetail has the old bus-style doors. And I say old bus-style doors. I know the 142's always have bus-style doors, but if you remember originally, it was like four leaves that used to fold in. But then they had the two leaves that opened, like, you know, the doors on, I don't know, a Leyland Olympian, for example. What you've got to remember, of course, compared to other uh, sprinters, the brakes, the step one brake on the uh, on the 150 stroke two is absolutely flipping useless. 
I don't know how you drive them in real life, but on the Armstrong Paradise Enhancement Pack, the brakes are shocking. Right, there we go. Just uh, cruise to a halt. There's an S-car stop board down the end of the platform, but it doesn't really matter, does it? There we go. And doors are open. Yeah, it's one of the only scenarios uh, that I, I wasn't... I think I was missing some sort of ZCA wagon pack. Uh, I don't know if there's some sort of freight pootling about. I, I don't know, to be honest with you. But uh, what I did notice is we didn't see a lot of Transpennine trains on here. I don't know how many... Uh, when I last drove the scenario, there wasn't a lot of fast traffic coming past. I don't know how frequent the timetable was in 2005, to be honest with you. I know that the 158 should have the first Transpennine Express branding on them, because it was just before the 185s came in. Come on, let's get away without... Uh, I'm a little bit worried we'll get some wheel slip here. It doesn't appear so, though. We're, uh, we're off. We're off to a flying start. Look at that. Come on, train. Oh, it's off. Uh, the, the 150's not a bad runner, to be honest with you. It's quite a while since we've last driven it, isn't it? I think compared to, you know, there's, there's a lot of things on Train Simulator I would rather drive than a 150. But you can't deny that in this livery, I know the shadows are sort of a bit, we might have to wait till Murfield to get out of the, uh, you know, because we're in a bit of a dip here. But it is a really, really good looking unit, isn't it? Particularly in this livery, it just suits this livery so much. And I will go on, I will go out on a limb, sorry. Uh, as much to say that I think the Regional Railways livery was the best livery on the 150. I think it was. Hands down, every day of the week. That blue just looks fantastic. Oh, let's not miss the DSD. See, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit struggling here. If we're outside the cab, uh, the obviously you get that little notification in the top right if you're outside the cab. However, my microphone is in the way, so uh, yeah, struggle there. Flying along down here, look. I think as well, this little bend to the left is a little bit too sharp. I don't think it's this sharp in real life. Like, if you're driving a 185, you, you really are sort of thrown thrown across and I don't think that's the case. Same as down here, I hadn't noticed, or I don't think I pointed it out in the original video. Um, the This isn't a single bore tunnel either, it's two bores, because there used to be two tracks that went under here. If you've played the, uh, the, the version that's available for Trains in World, you will of course know that, because there's two tracks that still go around. The bridge is correct though, they've fixed the bridge, which is good. There we go, I'm just going to let it coast. I think it makes you do, is it 65 or 60 here? And I said that it was something to do with a Transpennine um, ruling that they had to slow down. It was like a company issued speed restriction. I was, however, since speaking to a driver since that date. Oh, look, 150 stroke, one going the other way. You see, it's got to slow down to 60. And uh, he was saying that that's actually not the case and it was only ever a myth. So uh, I'll have to do some digging into that one. Yeah, he was saying it's, it's never been the case. So we'll, uh, we'll see. He says the drivers are just very considerate, so slow down so as not to throw people everywhere, but it's never actually been a written rule. So, uh, yeah, that might have been me giving out some false information there. It doesn't appear we're going to get a good screenshot today, does it? Like, at all. Where's the sun? It's the middle of winter. Ooh, we'll keep that breaking in. Murfield. Of course, with the new Transpennine route upgrade, this is all set to change, I believe. It's, uh, it's a really interesting one, Murfield. Ooh, let's have a bit of full service. I don't want to overrun the platform, for goodness sake. There we go. 
So yeah, the uh, apparently these two island platforms or this island platform is staying, and this uh, the little platform over here is going to be going. That will be a real shame. I've stopped at that platform many a time on uh, on trains. It'd be a little bit weird. So the fast lines are going to be going over there. So this won't be a fast line anymore. It's um, you know it's a well needed upgrade to capacity, but I can't help but feel a little bit sad that you know things are changing. Things always change, don't they? But uh, yeah, I, I, I like it the way it is. This level of inefficiency is, is how I like it. Right, off we go. Try and get away with no wheel slip. Dashboard lumina illuminates like a Christmas tree, even. Look at that. So the 60 to the right, that's quite an early warning sign, isn't it? But then I guess we're, uh, we're, on the, we're on the stop, right? We? So, you know, if you're hurtling through here at 75 miles an hour, maybe you need a bit more time. But the 60 is obviously if you're turning right at Thornhill LNW and heading down towards Wakefield, uh, Wakefield Kergate, that's down that way through Healy Mills. You see that junction just before Ravensthorpe. It's a bit of an odd one is Ravensthorpe that it was never a four platform station. Like, if you're on a Wakefield service, you go right past the station, but you can't actually stop there because there's no platforms. It's just bizarre that the people of Wakefield have never had that, well, they've not in my lifetime anyway, but they've never had that um, that service that stops at Ravensthorpe. Or Ravy, as I have uh, had it explained to me by one of the locals. Ravy. Well, that, is that really how, it's, uh, how it is? Apparently, yeah, the locals know it as Ravy. Oof, makes me shudder. <laughs> I'm not one of these people that shortens place names. Wakey. Ooh. Ooh, no. Not for me. So there you go. So you go across onto the other side. This line's actually bi-directional for this little bit. So you can turn right. We've got the flashing yellow, because of course, don't forget, we're going into the platform at Dewsbury. Got a signal on the right, so that will be to head down towards Wakefield. I don't know why I'm waving my arms around to show you, because obviously you can't see my arms, can you? But uh, yeah, you'd, you'd head. You can't actually get to Wakefield off this line now. Look, you see, it just just goes off to the right there. And of course, we're stopping. But it, it just seems so simple, doesn't it, to just bung a, another couple of platforms there? But they never did. Either that or that it used to be. It probably used to be back in BR days, didn't it? And uh, and they've removed them for some reason. I don't know. There's probably a reason. But there doesn't seem to be, from what I've seen, there doesn't seem to be any evidence of, uh, of platforms ever being there. Right, there we go. We'll have a uh, nice little stop there. I don't know how fast you have to drive to actually achieve this timetable, by the way. If you look, it's now 15, 13 and 44. When, we're due into Dewsbury at 15, 15, which is really, really quite a, uh, a tight schedule, isn't it? get that speed up. You see, like I say, we've we've not seen a, a, a fast service coming the other way. Like, at all. I don't know if maybe the working timetable that uh, Mr. Higgs worked from here, there was a lot of cancellations. I have no idea. Got the single flashing yellow for Dewsbury here. Of course, it's uh, 40 into the platform. So you're taking a lower speed, that's why you get the flashing signals. Obviously, if you were uh, if you were hurtling towards Dewsbury and didn't get the flashing signals and you were meant to stop, that would mean you were going through the, uh, the through road. Uh, 
how far do we dare leave it? I reckon about half a mile. We'll start braking. Half a mile from the 40. Got the yellow there. There we go. Pop it in step one. We should be down to 40 by then, shouldn't we? Got the feather there on the left to show that we're obviously uh, going off to the left here. We'll just leave that in uh, in break. I mean, I'm assuming we can't just come hurtling up towards a red signal. In real life, they'd probably take the time a little bit in case uh, in case we lost traction, in case there were slippy rails, we slid right through a red. You'd have a hard time explaining that to your manager, wouldn't you? Well, uh, we'll pop down to about 25. There we go. And then I'm going to uh, I'm I'm going to fly all the way to Batley. Maybe past Batley. I don't know. I'll uh, and I shall explain why I'm doing that in just a minute. See, the signal's gone green on the middle road there. Obviously not for us. We're, uh, we're having to wait for something brilliant and fast to come across. I don't know if you can take him out while you've... I'm assuming you can take it out, but it'll probably... Uh, probably kick off at you. Right, so something's coming past and it's coming past fast. So we're just going to whiz over to Batley. Just, yeah, there we go. We'll, we'll have a look over here and I think this is probably going to work. Um, right, there we go. Yeah, lovely. And then we'll just pop back over here. So what we've had on this, this scenario here, it's really, really quite difficult to... Um, to kind of get your head around. Train sim, for some reason, if you have something following you for a very long period of time, it forgets it's there. So when I was here, despite the fact I have the, the 158 enhancement pack, when I lasted this scenario, just a load of bogeys came past, but then later on it spawned in, and it's a really weird train sim quirk. Uh, I've had it as well on a Magic Toad scenario, going the other way at Murfield, when you've got, obviously, towards Huddersfield, you've got the fast and the slow lines, and the 185 has come past with just the bogeys. It's really bizarre and I don't know why Trainsim does it and I'm sure there's a reason. There's always a reason for these things, isn't there? But, uh, yeah. Yeah, no idea why that happens. See, even so, if, if this had been slightly better... Like, it, slightly better lighting, it'd have been great to have got a, a screenshot with the 158 coming past. If the 158 actually works, I don't know. It might be a set of bogeys again. Shall we? Shall we see if we can? Uh, if we can actually see it. I don't know. I don't know how far we'll get. There must be something coming the other way because the signals are flashing, so the route's set up. Must be a stopper. If uh, if the route's flashing, because that means you're going off to the side at Murfield. You're going onto the whoops. Going onto the slow line just after Ravensthorpe. I wonder what it'll be. Maybe a West Yorkshire Metro 158. It could be a 150. It could be... Uh, well, it could be anything, couldn't it, really? Let's have a look on the old route map. Where are we? Ah, there we go. A three car. One kilo, 18. Manchester Piccadilly to Hull. And it's a 158. Lovely. So it's just currently at Murfield. Or just before Murfield there. Hurtling along. Hurtling along. And there's... Uh, oh, there's a Leeds to Huddersfield. It's currently in the platform at Morley. Lovely. And, yeah, there doesn't seem to be an awful lot else. There's Leeds to Manchester Victoria there. Leeds to Huddersfield. Yeah, doesn't really seem to be a lot going on. I haven't seen any express services coming the other way. Maybe you just forgot to put them in. Oh, 
it's gone back to red. There's been a signal reversion, everybody. I wonder if we'll get out in front. We might do. Wonder if uh, if we nip down here, is the 158 still on its way, or are we uh, are we looking at a set of bogies? Ah, it's worked. That's good. Look at that. It's going to look brilliant, isn't it? Sailing through. Oh, it's such a good looking train. Oh, and it's got the uh, the Great Western style uh, bottom bit. Which is not a snowplow, it's something else. Oh, they've got the signal again, that's good. You think if they had more lines down here, this journey to Leeds would be so much quicker because it could take eight minutes. Because eight minutes is what we've waited here, pretty much. You could just take eight minutes out of the timetable. The stopping services would be a lot quicker. I guess with Morley Tunnel, it's a little bit more difficult, isn't it, to have four tracks to Leeds? Because, I mean, if you blow up Morley Tunnel to, to make it bigger, or excavate, should we say, not blow up, excavate's a better word. If you excavated it, like, the entire town of Morley is above, so if you if you got it wrong, can you imagine you were just sat outside in your garden having a barbecue, and then one day you'd just woomph everything. It was a massive sinkhole. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, it's good. Oh, I love the 158s. I do miss them on the Transpennine route, and I know it's quite a, uh, it's quite a long time since the 185s, uh, the 185s, the 158s operated over this route. I mean, what, 2006? Oh, guard shutting the door. No, 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 no. Not on a red sun. Right, okay. Uh, hmm. Let me just pop the DRA on. Should probably have done that earlier. Um, yeah. That's obviously not the way to do it, of course. Uh, you know, but with this being train sim and it being a game. I, I think on this occasion we'll uh, we'll we'll let it slide. So the thing with us driving a 150, of course, is that leaving here it's it's full power because it'll take you forever to get up to 40 anyway. It's quite funny when you leave here on uh, on things like a 185 because obviously 185s operate these stoppers now. When you leave on a 185 because they're so powerful, the, the drivers don't leave on full power because you know there's there's no there's no point, we'll be up at 75 by the time we get off this bridge. Okay, perhaps that's a little bit of an exaggeration. We'll just slow down a little bit, because uh, obviously we've got this signal coming up. Got to treat it that it's a red, haven't we? And we're not actually due into Leeds like, in any time frame, so we can just take our time now. And make sure we get there nice and safely. Hopefully this is a yellow. Oh, it's a green, even better. Straight from uh, zero to full power. Right, so we've got Batley coming up over here. Obviously, if we're on a green there, that 158's motoring, isn't it? So we should be all right all the way through to Leeds now, which is good. Nothing to worry about in that sense. Oh, another green as well. Yeah, no need to panic. 
I think this is a little bit uphill. I don't know if it's replicated in Trend Simulator. 1 in 138. So yeah, I guess there is a bit of a hill here. See, again, beautiful screenshot. Wrong time of day. It's one thing I really do like about this route. There's a lot of really nice screenshots. You can you can get sort of bogged down in the screenshotage rather than actually driving the train. Again, at Batley, I probably won't go all the way to the end. I'd, I would say that this was sort of adequate. I guess so long as the whole train's accommodated, it doesn't really matter. I know there's an S-car board there, but uh, what's this coming the other way? A 142! Wow! Do love a 142. I'm assuming it's stopping at Batley. It's coming very quick. Oh. Oh no, he's definitely stopping at Batley, isn't he? Hellsby? Flipping heck. That's Liverpool way, isn't it? Hellsby? No, it's, um... Hellsby and Frodsham. Is Hellsby actually... Did that can't be in a service, surely? Let's have a look at centre and the player. No, it's going to Uddersfield. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to say surely there wasn't a Leeds to Hellsby service. That's a really bizarre sort of service to run. That 158 will be hurtling through Cottingley now if it's not already in Leeds. You've got the signal box at Batley now. And of course you can see the old line going over the top of us here. Well, I mean the, the railway bit, but you can, the, the railway bit's gone, but you can see where the, uh, where the old mountains were. Apparently, and I've not been over that stretch of line for quite a while now, apparently one of the big doodads has gone. One of the, uh, one of the, it's not a stanchion is it, it's not a tower. But uh, one of the, um, I can't think of the word, what, for crying out loud, what's the word? Um, mounts? I don't know. The big bits of brick and stone before the, you know, the, the supports. One of the supports has gone. Apparently it's all just open now and there's, there's just no support there. I've, I've, I've had it pointed out to me, I hadn't noticed. The next time I go through I'll have to have a look. Alright, Morley Tunnel. Longest section of tunnel on this route that we're going to come across today. Well, obviously you've got Standage Tunnel, which is on the other side of Uddersfield, but we're not travelling through that today, obviously, being on a, uh, on a lead stopper. So when you come out into Morley here, it's a 55 mile an hour speed limit, 45 going the other way. And uh, it's absolutely brilliant, particularly with the 185s. I mean, 185s are mainly what operate here. Obviously, you've got the uh, the TPE Nova fleet and you've got the Northerns that are on the uh, the Manchester via Brig houses. But uh, yeah, when you see the, one uh, the 185s coming around the corner, hurtling around the corner, I might add, 45, they go into the tunnel and then they spool up the sort of echoes through the tunnel. It sounds absolutely fantastic. If you haven't already, go spend a day at Morley. You don't even have to spend a day at Morley, but you know, spend an hour at Morley if you're, if you're into train photography. You can get some quite nice photos. Um, but yeah, the, the, one fa the 185s, when they go into that tunnel, they just sound brilliant. As well, when the 158s are on the, uh, the Manvik via Wigan no, Manvik via Wigan? Wigan via Manvik, or Blackpool, or Southport. They, they seem to change the destinations left, right, and centre. Um, 
yeah, when the one eight, one five eights on them, they sound brilliant as well. We're going to need a bit of full service here because I've left it a little bit late for me braking. That'll do. You get quite a big camber at Morley as well. Really, really big gap. Don't know if it's uh, if it's quite replicated here. No, I don't think that's quite as uh, as tight. Or as uh, the, the camber isn't... Oh, hang on, that's putting the lights on, not taking the brakes off, you idiot. No, I don't think that's quite as ferocious, the camber here, as uh, as what it is in real life. I think Trent Sims sort of missed a trick there. I mean, there's definitely a bit of camber there. You can uh, you can see it, can't you? But, uh, yeah, it's not quite as much as, as real life. It is a very dark time of day, isn't it? It's, it's weird because the sky is so light. There we go, and we're nearly there, folks. Let's have a bit of, bit more. Full steam ahead. I think we've established now that slippy rails is not something we're going to encounter today. So we'll uh, we'll get it up to speed nice and quick. What time did we leave Morley there? About fifteen thirty-one, I'd say. What time are we meant to be there? Have we got? Oh, it hasn't got times at the top. Oh, right, okay. I'm assuming we're late. We'll just leave when the guard buzzes. Guard us as a coffee for Bellin on a Reddit Jewsbury there. Flipping heck. Frighten the life out of me. Of course, coming round the corner now, you've got the White Rose Centre on the right. I don't know quite how accurate it is in this. I've, I've never looked. I don't think I looked when we drove the 185 down here and I ripped the route to pieces. Um, I mean, there has been some updates since then, of course. But yeah, uh, round here is where you'll see the new... If you're travelling between Huddersfield and Leeds, you, uh, you look out the window, you might see the, uh, the, the foundations of the new station. There's going to be a new station down here. The White Rose Centre Station. I think it's just after this curve straightens out, if memory serves me right. Just sort of around here. So if we just nip out, there you've got the White Rose Centre. That's probably the White Rose Centre. I mean, it, it is in real life. That's probably Dovetail Games' attempt. It's, uh, it's a multi-story car park. But yeah, you've got the White Rose Centre station going in here, which is, uh, is really important and quite sad. Why would a new station be sad, I hear you ask? Well, Cottingley, which is this station we're just arriving into, is sadly getting demolished. Cottingley's going. That's that's that. So they're moving the station all the way down, which you'd be really annoyed if you lived, uh, <clears throat> you know, you lived in this house on the left here, uh, which looks absolutely nothing like the houses in real life. Uh, again, they look absolutely. Cottingley looks really poor, actually. From uh, oh, that was the perfect time for a screenshot. A little bit of sun. Oh, well, never mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Cottingley looks really poor, but could you imagine if you lived in these houses, either this side or this side, and you commuted to, to Leeds every day? You've got, you know, the station's just outside, really, really handy and easy for work, and then it's, oh, yeah, by the way, we're taking your station off you. We're, we're moving it 300 yards down the line. Oh, you'd be cross, wouldn't you? I'm surprised they've not been rioting. The, uh, the residents of Ravensthorpe. Ravensthorpe? Why am I saying Ravensthorpe? Cottingley. Yeah, we we did Ravensthorpe ages ago. They wouldn't be rioting if Cottingley station's been moved, would they? Oop, straight into notch four. No notch three. Bit of notch five. And then notch seven. Lovely. 
right away Leeds. I can't believe it's three miles, that's quite a long way. Well, it's 2.8, but uh, yeah, Cottingley to Leeds, I didn't think it was that far. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed we've not seen uh, any sort of express traffic coming the other way. I like your scenarios, Adam, but even if it wasn't timetable, just throw one in for me. Adjust. Yeah, I don't really feel that we've... Uh, oh, hang on, just get that, don't miss that. I don't really feel like we've had enough 158 action today. Oh, hang on, there's a bit of light round here. Maybe, maybe we'll get a screenshot. That'd be good. Is is this screenshot... No, uh, we, we can't really see the front. You see the back, so the sun's obviously up there. Oh, the sun's over there, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. No, oh, my lord. Obviously, that's the trees, the, the sunlight from the trees in the cab there. Oh, wrong button. Q. Not uh, not Q and the number two. Otherwise, we'll fly out. See, this is the thing that bothers me about this route. Is, uh, so, you've got the East Coast Main Line flying overhead there. You can see that with the, uh, with the fizzy knitting. And then that sweeps round. It's a big sweeping curve. And it comes down alongside you. But if you actually look to the left here, you'll see it's completely flat. You see the lines here, look at that, they're completely flat. They should be coming down and sort of meeting us. I really don't know how steep the curve is here to get it down to the side. But yeah, this is just flat. Leeds is wrong. Oh, it's so wrong. Oh, put the lights on again. It's easy to catch the cab light there, isn't it? Yeah, this, this is completely flat. It is completely wrong. It's a pain. I love that. I used to remember doing that when I was uh, when I was a Northern Guard. They don't have those handsets anymore. They've completely got rid of them. Ooh, we've got a green to come right in. And obviously this is on a bit of a downhill gradient as well, which uh, is a shame that this isn't replicated. Bit more of a camber as well. Yeah, it seems like such a niggly little thing, but when you work over the route as often uh, as I do, you, these little things are what sort of let you down. By not having it, you know, by not featuring. But well, we're going straight in for uh, for E line here. We're going in on platform twelve. Have a bit more braking. So this seems quite a steep downhill. Is is this a downhill bit? I'd say this was a lot more flat than than the bit before. But we need to keep braking, obviously. Nope, one five eight there. Where are you going? Looks like it says Blackpool North, maybe Manchester Victoria. That'll be one or the other, won't it? Going out on the middle line, so that'll be going towards Bradford Interchange. So yeah, Blackpool or Manvik. It's funny, isn't it? Because Transpennine Express has sort of, and I don't mean the current franchise, well, I sort of do. I mean, the, the Transpennine brand in general has lost a lot of things over the years, hasn't it? Because if you think many, many years ago, I mean, before the 185s came about, Transpennine used to operate from York to Blackpool North down the Calder Valley. That was a Transpennine service. Uh, I don't know whether it... Well, it wasn't an express service, was it? It was more express than... You know, I don't think it stopped at Sorby Bridge or Mythamroyd. It missed a few out. But, you know, that was a Transpennine branded service, and obviously that went over to Northern. Uh, don't forget, of course... Transpennine then with the 185s operated Windermere, Blackpool, uh, the other one Barrow and Furnace, you know, and then at the 2016 franchise change they lost that. So over the years the the whole Transpennine brand has sort of really been stripped back, which is a bit of a shame actually. I mean the route still operates, Northern it's operated under Northern, isn't it? But uh, yeah, it's just such a shame that that Transpennine brand has gone from a lot of. Uh, a lot of towns and villages around the north. What have we got in Leeds? We've got a 142 GNER over there in the corner. We've got the uh, one of the 
prototype northern liveries on the 156 there. Very, very similar to first bus Olympia, you might notice. I wonder why that might be. Uh, I'll leave you to think about that one. If you don't already know, then, uh, mm. again, at Leeds, first Northwestern, uh, well, obviously, it's a northern branded one. 150 stroke 2. Lovely. Right, well, there we go. That's where we're going to leave it for today. I really do hope you have enjoyed that. We've arrived at Leeds. All change, please. If you've enjoyed the scenario, please do go and download it. There's a link in the description. Uh, Adam does make some fantastic scenarios. And, of course, click the like button on this video. Do make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll hopefully see you next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.